Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to the Carolina Pickers Festival and it wound up being a beautiful day and we spent about six hours walking around looking at everything. So I hope you enjoy coming with me to the festival and shopping. And then when I get back home, I will show you everything I wound up purchasing. did wind up getting one of these vintage bottles but looking back I wish I had gotten a few more because they were a really good price that these crock lids were really neat but then I found this cane for only six dollars so I decided to get that instead I really wanted this brass fox door knocker but it's just so hard to decide what to get and what not to get um, because there's so much to look at and I didn't want to spend all my money right off the bat a really neat basket. buildings on the property like this church so we decided to go inside and it was just really beautiful in there separate trips to the car and we are headed home now. Okay, so we are back home now and I wanted to show you before I put it inside, I got this vintage wood drying rack and it has this really nice little metal detailing so that it can fold up. I thought this was a great decor piece for my laundry room or I could even use it if I wanted to, or I thought about bringing it to my shows that I go to to sell my vintage linens that I have. The drying rack was $30, and then I paid $5 for this old cornmeal bag, and I thought it was just really neat with the graphics on it. And then I paid a dollar each for these wooden utensils, and the one says Asheville, North Carolina, I found this short little white stool and I got this for $20 and I just thought it was really nice and chippy and it would be great to put a plant on. I found this little crock for $3 and I thought it was just good to stick things in and organize them. I thought I could put my children's colored pencils in here or some vintage utensils. I picked up this vintage bottle for $3 and I really liked that it was milk glass and had a metal top and I loved the graphics on it and I was hoping to find a vintage medicine cabinet or something for my bathroom to stick this in. I purchased this beautiful vintage picture frame for $5 and I thought this would look nice in my bedroom and then along with the picture frame I found this vintage hat 
and I just love the color of it and the bow so I'm gonna stick this in my bedroom as well and I paid seven dollars for the hat okay so at this point we had been at the Carolina Pickers for about six hours and we were really tired and this was one of the last booths I went to I found this toolbox and I thought it was gorgeous um, it was a hundred and seventy five dollars I believe and the man said he had refinished it and everything so I asked him if he would take any less so I got it for 120 which I know is still a lot of money but I will keep this piece forever I think it is beautiful and I plan on putting it in my bathroom and putting my makeup in here and it's missing the little bottom piece right here but he said he would um ship it to me And I wound up finding two brass head canes and I was really happy to find them because I have been looking for some for a while now and they just seem really hard to find. I found this beautiful piece at Carolina Pickers and I have been searching for a antique sterilizing cabinet for my bathroom for a while now. So I was really happy to find this one and it's actually even bigger than what I was looking for. I love the size of it and the glass door. It has this metal knob and it actually works so it will lock it. I plan on putting two or three shelves in here to hold some of my um, vintage cosmetics and vintage bottles that I've been collecting. This piece was originally used for a fire extinguisher and I paid $95 for it. I also purchased this gold mirror for $20 and I am trying to show it to you without showing my whole bedroom behind because I am going to do a bedroom makeover video. And this is the detailing it has on the top. I also purchased this wood hat rack and I just loved the shape of it. I thought it was really different and it has this really pretty brass detailing on the ends of it. So I decided to hang this piece in my laundry room and I put a couple of baskets on it with a vintage table runner and a hat. The last piece I decided to purchase at the same booth that I got the vintage toolbox was this beautiful mint colored scale. I have been looking for a scale in this shape for a while now and when I saw it in the shape that it was and the color I just fell in love and it has this really nice brass piece with it. This is what the back side looks like and like I said I just love the color of it I think it is so pretty I decided to throw in a couple of still pictures of my scale staged in my kitchen with my butter pads in it it's my favorite piece that I have purchased so far so I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching